What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Cloud Slayer Podcast. Hope you're doing well this fine evening and uh, and or morning. Depends on what time this video uploads. But today I had a special guest. His name's Daniel Paulus. Um, a cousin of mine. Met him through the lodge. Um, I had him in previous podcast, but back again. Um, always a pleasure. And as always, if anybody's looking um, towards sharing any of their life story with me or us, uh, please do. And if you like this content, please hit that like and subscribe button, please. I do appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a fine evening. And I hope you guys enjoy the show, the little bit of conversation that we did have. And um, on, on with the future. Dude, check us out, man. Good boys. On one second. One second. One second. All right, we got that there. All right, we're all set up. What's up, man? Not a man. Just uh, was busy. I'm um, doing laundry right now. Uh huh. Then uh, just got some doing some Legos, dude, for my boy. Well, oof. actually, they're for me. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm turn this light on real quick so I get some lighting. Gotcha. Dude, I'm getting a lot better with this uh video stuff, dude. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Yeah. You've been you've been uh pushing out a lot of content. Yeah, man. Okay. How's how's YouTube treating you? Uh that's been pretty good. Um I'm get my shorts. Some of them got some views. Uh a one YouTube e content with uh <laughs> I got like four hundred views. Yeah. Uh, sh- short. Um yeah. That was Gohan going ultimate Gohan beast mode. Okay, everybody likes Dragon Ball Z. Oh, that's pretty cool. How long did that take you to assemble Spider Man? Yeah, this is yep, Spider Man, Miles Morales. This took about uh, let's say 45 minutes. Okay, nice. And then, oh, I gotta show you this one. Check out this bad boy. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Blast toys. Like Blast toys. Yep. And then Venusaur is almost done. Penisaur? Yeah. War turtle. <laughs> <laughs> you say Penisaur? <laughs> oh man. Oh, my god. Nice. Wordle. Cool. And then uh This is in the works. This guy's taking a long time. Venusaur. Hell oh, yeah. That's pretty nifty. Yep. Your son will like it though. Just seeing him, that'd be dope. Yeah, Miles is his. That's his favorite character, and like anything like Spider Man, he loves Miles. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like that. I like that too, though, man. Yeah, he likes the he likes the brown character. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Did he play the video game? Uh yeah. Yeah. Uh, th- well, he's he he's watched gameplay, and um, his sister's boyfriend he has PS Five, so uh. He always talks about Alex and like and them playing Miles together. Oh, I got you. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool and nice of him. Yeah. So, are you off tonight then? Yes, sir. Oh, that's something, man. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I was I was like an old man today and I like slept from like 11 to 3 p.m. So, like, I'm wired today. I'm wired oh. tonight. That's like, how many hours was that? Like 16? Nice. Yeah. Well, my sleep schedule is the back to normal. So, like, well, I've been sleeping like I've been like five hours a night, just like because I, you know, I've been uh, working real hard with my video content, gotcha. and, like stuff like that. I'm like, and I'm trying to blow up on TikTok. So it's just like, then so I and I start at in, in the real world. I start work Thursday, so it's like. I'm trying to get as much as I've done as I can before then, you know, when I get my job. You know what I mean? Next Thursday? All right, this Thursday. This Thursday? Already passed. Nice. How was it? Oh, no, I mean, this up- up- upcoming Thursday. Oh, okay. Yeah, next Thursday then. Excited? Yeah, dude. Uh, I'll be at Quick Trip. I get 50% off on uh, all cooked food. Mm-hmm. So, like, chicken sandwiches. French fries, hamburgers. Yeah, you gonna resist Ooh. those bad boys? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. yeah. Even- and then, uh, but, but, the, but the big one, though, is uh, free coffee and lattes. Mm-hmm. I love coffee. So, like, no more energy drinks. I'll just drink so I'll get a cup of coffee. Ah, uh, gotcha. Try to stay, yeah. keep your stomach full, I guess. Yeah. 
Got you. You've been uh, sticking with the workout plan? Uh, it's it's slowed down a little bit, but I, dude, um, I'm starting to fit double XLs again. Nice. Because I was, I was, I'm wearing triple XLs. This is this is double XL, so yeah. it's like it's a little more movable. I got you. I got you. That's yeah. awesome. Um, uh, yeah, I'm at triple XL too, so I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> I, I know. That's like when the double XL becomes tight. It's like it's time to lose weight. I got you. I got you. Uh, how much? How many pounds are you down now? Just a few, or what? If I had to guess, it's probably like fifteen pounds. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, I can tell, like, even like, yeah, just guessing. I I don't got a scale, but like, when I wear my winter coats now, it's like it's more uh like movable, and it's not as tight on me like that. Uh -huh. It's like I I got space and all that stuff. I see. That's pretty cool. That's what's up. Yeah. Hard work pays off, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Was that um, all the Legos that you made? Yeah, well, it's like half of it. Half of it? I okay. got, uh, cause I, yeah. I'm at my girlfriend's house right now, so I got brought half of it here, and then um, the other half at my parents' house. I got you. Uh, well, shit. That's pretty awesome, man. What what else you been up to? You said you uh, recorded another show with somebody or something like that. Uh, no, I just do my audio commentary, and then um, my buddy Keith, he went up to uh, Oklahoma. Did I tell you about that? No. And then he he uh, he went to the auditions for reser Reservation Dogs. Oh. Okay. And if you could check out, yeah, social media like. It was like he went from uh, St. Cloud. He got the Greyhound St. Cloud to uh, Oklahoma. He said it was kind of a crappy, crappy uh, bus ride, but it was worth it though. <laughs> and I gave him one of my ribbon shirts to use. Oh, okay, that's 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 pretty nice of you. Did he have a good time? Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you said shitty ride. Is it like like a bunch of people there? They said it was more or less. It was like, it was like the bus was cold. And the bus driver was just like, uh, no, he wasn't. He wasn't a good bus driver. He wasn't like considerate. Oh, okay. so, just like a crappy driver and stuff like that. Yeah, but he said the hotel was nice. You know, experience. You know, I got to, got to see uh, got to see the the people. Like I don't know, got to meet a lot of people like from across the U.S. and like they're just like. I don't know if you've seen that social media, like, from the auditions. Dude, yeah. there was, like, a lot of people out there in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hell, yeah. A lot of people to network with, you know? Yeah. Hell, yeah. That's awesome, man. At least he's out there, like, trying to chase it. You, you know what I mean? As opposed to not, I, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Hell, yeah. What kind <coughs> of content have you been working on on TikTok and stuff like that? You mentioned that... um. You've been grinding that out and trying to further that. Well, I guess just more or less just uh, my comedy and stuff like that. And um, I've been trying to think of like uh, oh, well, actually, what I've been doing is uh, I've been going live on TikTok. Yeah. And that's one thing is like um, I want to get used to stage presence. So like, and for me, like going to going on TikTok live, it does get nervous. Yeah. But it's easier to go on with a friend. So I don't know. Uh, I go on this guy and name. His name is Pony Boy. Okay. He's he's yeah. He has like twenty thousand, twenty six thousand followers. He's from Oklahoma. Me and him chatted up, and then uh, I got this guy named Billy Bannock from Canada. Mm -hmm. He has thirty thousand followers. Did you go live with them? Mm hmm. Yeah. Shit. That's awesome. It's way easier to like go with a bro and live and just chat it up than by me by yourself. Oh yeah. Otherwise, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to be like all crafty and like, what do I talk about? And then I'm just like kind of mumbling, you know, stuff like that. I got you. Um, what did you guys talk about when you guys were on air? <laughs> oh, with, uh, Billy Bannock was just talking about like uh, smudging, prayer, uh, hitting the gym, you know, like. Like staying positive and like uh, you know, 
because he's Ojibwe, so he know he knows the stuff too. Gotcha. He's he, he's Northern Canada, but he like he's you know tradition and culture is like <laughs> he's yeah. So he's just thinking back into culture. Okay, that's what's up. Uh, what did you talk about when you were on there? Uh me? Yeah, yeah. I just uh, I just joked around. Um, just talked about uh mental health. Like that's like. That's my main thing is like I always talk about is like mental health, mm-hmm. and especially among the native community, like you know, it's a big issue. Like, yeah, and it kind of ties we, back to the cultural aspect, right? That's what a lot of people say, and you know, I mean, you, you see it too. I mean, people that are, you know, believing in that way of life, they, you know, they do seem to be more level headed. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you know, um, like the road to road to good mental health. It's uh, it's a rocky road, and for me, from my own point, like experience right now, it's like I'm getting there. Mm-hmm. I feel a lot better. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know if you can tell, like with the way me and you talk now, it's like calm, casual. That's cool. And I'm not, I'm not as uh, sporadic and like. So like that, like you know, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting my focus again. I got you. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! I, I hear you, man. I and I'm praying for you and hope, hoping you stay strong as well. You know what I mean? It's it's not easy. It's not an easy road to to pursue, but it's it's something that we all should strive for. You know what I mean? Um, well, yeah. I'll be it. None of us are perfect. You know. So it's just. Oh yeah. It's 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 easier to share your stories and um, help encourage other people than than it is to like break each other down and stuff like that. And it's it's a beautiful thing that you guys are going on air and saying those things. You know what I mean? So it's yeah, definitely good to bring like awareness for for people, especially if they're lost or you know they feel lost or you know drugs take over their lives and stuff yeah. like that. So. Yeah, I. And seeing uh, no, I have two new TikTok friends, uh, Kenny Mac, and they're twins, a uh, boy and a girl. Uh, Kenny Mac is the girl, and then Swift's the chief. They're from uh, Morley, Alberta, Canada. They're funny as hell, but like, they're both kind of blown up on TikTok. So uh, shout out to them if they see this. Twins, uh, but you know they understand like, they're just down there with native twins. You know, like struggling addiction, like. Self consciousness and like that, like so. I, I chatted up with them. I, I don't go live with them, but like in the in the DMs, like we have like we have good talks. Okay, how many times have you been live since then? Let's see. Uh, I go live like every other day. I'm getting used to it. Like, like what like what I did, what I did today was I went live twice. Mm-hmm. I played music, and then there's uh me doing Legos, and people commenting like, "Oh, that's cool," and like. It's like it's kind of like ASMR. I got you. You know, like oh yeah. So you just you you built all that live. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, and it helps me. Uh, and it's helping me feel my feel myself on like how to to get comfortable on with stage presence. You know. Uh huh. So well, I guess yeah. I guess like, you just keep doing it. You know, it'll it'll help you out a lot, definitely. Yeah, like some, I'm starting. I'm starting to get less nervous, you know, and like comfortable. Like, okay, the camera's on, and you know, like, dude, I had like 500 people watch me, and it was just like, it was that it wasn't that bad at all, because it'll it'll tell you the numbers. Like yeah. after like, I was like, holy shit, I had 500 people watching me like do Legos for like 10 minutes straight. Oh, I was yeah. like, that's pretty cool. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Heck yeah, I mean, shit. I don't, I don't know how you'd go through with that. You know, I get, I'd get nervous too. You know what I mean? So I yeah, I mean, I don't know. But I try, I try not to think about those things as well. So yeah. Hey, what kind of headphones do you got? Because I'm trying to get uh, I'll say we'll get some Turtle Beaches. These are coarse air Turtle Beach Beaches are pretty good headphones too. Those are those are awesome. Uh, these are coarse air though. So are they uh? Are they better sound quality for the mic and mic stuff too? 
Um, I have no idea because I've never used that headphone. But these ones, these ones feel comfortable in my ears, though. So. Okay. Oh, and you got the mic. You got the yeah. microphone today. Yeah, like they go completely around my ear, so it doesn't put any kind of like stress <clears> on them. Because if I got smaller ones, they it hurts my ears after a while. Hey, Travis, I had a question for you. Yeah, what's up? You know, so what's that thing in front of the microphone that like like, like, you, like you talking to? What does that do? Yeah, it's that a, thing. It's a spit guard for the microphone. So if I go, pop, oh, pop, it's a spit. yeah, yep. So you can't hear the bees as much or the peas and stuff like that because it comes out like. Pop. Yeah. So it. Oh, it's... it yeah. It it's just a uh, part of the microphone. It it helps it out. So. Oh, that's that's a cool idea. I have to get it. I have to get an actual mic now. To do that. Yeah. I mean, some of them come with it, but they're kind of they're inexpensive because they make so many of them. You know. Yeah. You got so many to choose from. Heck yeah. So some of them come as like combos and stuff like that. They have like HyperX. Those are really good microphones. Condenser mic microphones and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. How's how's your fight with sobriety going, brother? <clears throat> Pretty good. Um, that's getting easier now. Mm -hmm. You know, for a minute there, I was just like, a couple weeks ago, it was hard. But now I was just like, shit, brother, man. You know, it's, I'm doing all right. I've got my feelings intact, emotions in check, you know, and like, you know, I can't say I'm better, but I can say each day is a little better. Oh, yeah. You know, it can't just say like you know, oh my god, I'm cured. Like, but I could say it's just like you know, like little micro, like little micro bit each day. Like, mm -hmm. I feel just a tad, mm -hmm. tad bit better, and I'm comfortable saying that. Yeah, hell yeah, especially if you're staying off of it. You know, each each day is a step yeah. towards positivity. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. If I, if I, if I were on shit, I wouldn't be talking. I'd be all like. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so I'm a, I'm a very active person, but like, if I'm drunk or high, like, I shut down and like I become a zombie. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's sick. Please stop it's getting that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <goofball. laughs> oh man. All right, man. Had to had to try it out. Hell yeah. Getting tired, bro? No, I'm Still good. Uh, yeah. Like I said, uh, dude, I took a nap today and like, so I was just like, I'm chilling, dude. No, how about you? Uh, how, how are you feeling today? I'm pretty good. I, I got a little like two hour nap in, so I don't usually get naps, you know. I usually get like three and a half to four hours of sleep, you know. Yeah. Um, but Started a new guild with some friends. Um, well, they're not. I just met them online, right? Uh, playing World of Warcraft and stuff like that. But they're all they're awesome people. Ooh, so, nice. I can't, getting to know those guys. I haven't been streaming as much right now, but I just wanted to get more talkative with them because when I first meet people, I'm I'm quite a shit, you know. I uh, I come off as like an asshole, so I, I I try to learn about other people before I talk to them, you know. So um, before I come out come out and sound like a dick or something, you know? So I just, I'm kind of a weirdo. Yeah. How, how did we start talking? Um, I can't remember that name. Our, our parents, um, because we met your dad, your dad taught us how to like cut up, cut down saplings and stuff like that. We had to do it for um, like a fasting camp and something like that. And then we I were remember, up there. I think I remember you guys came to my house and it was just like, no, oh, I'm Danny. Hi, I'm boy. Danny boy. <laughs> yeah, this is my son. And then we had, and then I think we had KFC too. Yeah, and you hid it from <laughs> us. No, I'm just <laughs> Yeah, it was just like I ate all the skin and gave you the meat. Like, <laughs> like, mmm. You were South Park. Oh, South Park when uh, Carmen does that, he's just like, ooh, the skin's so good. Right. And he gives him all the meat. <laughs> but you you told me that you see me around, but I look like a bulldog, so you didn't want to approach me. So I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> I didn't know what to say, and I was like, "That's yeah. that's because the sun's always in my eyes." So <laughs> I was messing with me, and you, then you were oh, like, I... 
then you were like, then I seen your mom, and then I knew why. <laughs> and shit like that. <laughs> I was like, fuck her. <laughs> fuck her, yeah. yeah. Oh, she's seen my new TikTok. It's a good one. Uh, it's like, yuck. My- uh, I copied that one guy. Uh, copied that Mr. Mr. Christopher. Mm-hmm. It's like, yuck. Hope we have a good time. It's just like when uh, you're getting ready and like the, the baby mom was just like distant on you. Yeah. Like, yeah. Here I have like a little uh, Pendleton blanket, blanket, and then I have a uh, what's the thing that holds your hair like on like a night, yeah, like an old cap. lady thing. Night and then cap. I have a sharpie and a nightcap. And then I have a sharpie that's pretending to be a cigarette. It's like yuck. <laughs> Hope you have a good time. And I have a cheap little, cheap little baby. Yeah. Like you said, my mom liked it. <laughs> I think oh, she has a gosh. TikTok now, so she don't. Oh, make, that would have me. Yeah, she don't. Uh, yeah, she don't make videos. <laughs> oh, I need followers though. Yeah. You yeah. Should, uh, you, I broke. You just had two K, right? Yeah, I'm at twenty two hundred now. So it's like, and um. I also started like a Venmo account, so like, so now, if you want, like when I go live and stuff like that, people can pay me to like do whatever. Like, uh-huh. people can, you know, like ten push-ups. I'll give you five bucks in your Venmo account. I'm like, all right, one, two. I I stopped that you can get that challenge going. Yeah, can you do? Can you do yep. ten push-ups? Yeah, but I'm not gonna do them right now. Right now, come on, man, challenge. challenge. No. I'll do them with you. <laughs> I'm in the basement, dude, and there's oh, cat man. shit everywhere. Oh man, <laughs> that sucks. Kick it out of the way, bro. It's good. <laughs> Check this out real quick. Ooh, look at this guy. Look at that pussy. His name's Link. Link. Yeah. Nice. Ah. It's good. Oh man. <laughs> All right. All right, go link. Go. That, that's my cat. He's the dude. Yeah. It, very, yeah. very, very pretty. I'm jealous. Yeah, check ya. Check ya. Yeah. Trick me. No, oh, check ya. That's a, oh, that's a whole chunk. And like, check ya. That, that, that's a whole chunk. Like for like fuck. Like hell yeah. Like check ya. Oh hell yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I have to try to re- uh, remember that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we've been training like a dog too. We just got a new dog, and you know it's been pretty busy around the house and stuff like that too. Oh yeah, get them potty oh, trained cool. and stuff like that. Or her, my bad. Her name's Mika, so just yeah. her home. You know, part of the family now. So yeah, oh yeah, it's gonna be a big dog. Somebody, big dog. Somebody fuck around, find out. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I, I ordered another uh, Akasi cloak. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I'm going to give my first one to my cousin. Because I owe him like 40 bucks. I'm like, here, you can have this cloak. I'm getting a new one. And like, so we, we squared up. We're squared. Okay. He's in the Naruto, too. So, That's like. True. It's worth it, I guess. Mm hmm. Fuck yeah. So, hey, have you been watching a. Have you been watching The Last of Us? I have not. Oh, bro, you gotta watch it. It's on HBO Max, yeah. dude. What, you love what, it. What's going on with it? What's what's it about? Oh, it's in the future where like uh, plants and mushrooms are overtaking human bodies, like parasites. Okay. They come. They come. Quadriceps, mm-hmm. like the mushrooms and shit, like the fungi. They get like you know, the zoot eats a piece of bread, and then also like the infection. Yeah, and they come in like zombies and stuff. And then so the uh, the end of the first episode, you meet this girl. She's uh she's immune, and you like the oh and the guy has to protect her. So it's like, but the season, dude, every episode is fire and all. Oh my god. Sunday's gonna be the season finale, so it's gonna be fire. And this is the first season. Yep. Oh yeah. It's gonna be wrapped up. Wrapped up Sunday. Yeah. Did you end up watching the Ring yeah. of Power? The Rings of Power. My bad. 
The Rings of Power? Yeah, it's like the Lord of the Rings. It's no, TV series I'm not Amazon. Uh, How is it? Uh, it, was, it was really good. I liked it, but a lot of people didn't like it, but I don't know. I, I thought it had a good story to it, so um, I didn't yeah. pay attention to like black elves and all that jazz because I don't really give two shits about what color they are, but I, I yeah. think like a good story. You know what I mean? So I want to see yeah. like ass kicking and fucking demon slaying type shit. Orc slaying my bad, not demons. Yeah. Fuck yeah. You know what you need to watch is uh, Lord of the G-Strings. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I it was cool. I seen it when I was a kid. It's good. That was uh, like, still my heart. Still my heart. <laughs> like you... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's good. Oh man, yeah. Look, yeah. You been um playing any games lately, or have you just been you know recording TikToks and stuff like that? Uh, just recording TikToks, and uh, I guess instead of playing games, it's mm-hmm. it's been these uh, these Lego kits. Okay. So that's been like I've been using my creativity that way that way. But I think what um oh my god, so at Walmart they have like a bunch of PS fives. So, I'm going to save up to get a PS5. Oh, you have an Xbox, though, right? Yep. All right, maybe I'll get a, I'll get a new Xbox One. Or what's it called? Xbox, um, I don't know. I don't remember. Series X, something like that. Series S, Series X. Either one of those. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a PS guy, so I'll get a PlayStation. Yeah. But there's, there's games where we can co-play, right? Yeah, it should be able to, like Call of Duty and stuff like that. I usually play on my PC, so... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, I do get, like, Call of Duty and stuff. I, what, I don't know. What kind of games do you play? Like, Fortnite or something? Uh, Batman. But definitely, I want to play that Miles Morales yeah. the Spider-Man game. Uh, those might and be then, um, player games, though. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, that's, that's more of a style. Yeah. But truthfully, though, yeah. I need to get a, a new Switch. Because uh, Legend of Zelda is going to come out end of March. Tears of the Kingdom. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be fire, dude. Got yeah, the sequel to the Breath of the Wild. Yeah, yeah. That that one was a good game too. So, okay, yeah. it looks pretty good though. From uh, did they have a trailer already for it? I I thought I'd seen some kind of previews for it. It looked beautiful. Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, it's like the world's biggest map pack of any game, and like, dude. They 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 go hard in the paint and the details and like everything like waterfalls, snowlands, the deserts, the volcano area. Like <laughs> now they're new, introducing underground and going into the sky. Like this is like the world's <laughs> belly button. It's gonna be the oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh. All right, I have a little I have a little scab I was picking at. Yeah, you weren't supposed to see that. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, and picking that added a lot. Well, I'm busted one. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like a little. I wish it would go away. Ooh, All right, now we're done. Oh man! Oh, I punched myself. Flex <laughs> <laughs> no. your biceps. Yeah, you go like this, and you go. Yeah, like this. Yeah, you go. Oh, I don't. Oh, little arms. Fucker. <laughs> little arms. I got flabby arms. Yeah. Amen. You got to start somewhere. Mine were flabby mm-hmm. for a long time, so. Not until I became like an adult and started lifting weights. But, you know, when I was a kid, they never seemed to grow, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what you been up to, brother man? You just waiting, uh. Start work and stuff like that. Yeah, start work and then um, I'm gonna see if I get my son overnight Tuesday because uh, it's uh, spring break. Mm-hmm. So I might as well get him. See if I get him overnight Tuesday and then uh, see how that goes. I got gotcha. yeah. you. Has everything been going all right with you? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, everything is it's, it's slow, but like. You know, I just, I've been I've been consistent, Travis, and that's the main thing. Is just like, you know, I'm not I'm not going all out, but just like a little bit each day goes a long way. You know, yeah, 
like I've been doing that 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 kind of philosophy. Like each day gets a little better. Like I'm not I'm not trying to be like, oh yeah, and this today's the day. Like like today, I my, my mindset is today is the day where we get a little closer to what I want to get. Right. So like I got hired. You know, I mean, like, damn, I got a job again. Thank God, I hate being broke. I hate being broke. Right. I hear you there, mm-hmm. man. Hell yeah. I always, you know, even when I didn't like a job, I'd, like, prepare first before I leave it, you know? Usually, I did one time where I, you know, I didn't prepare and I just left, pretty much, you know? Well, I got put out after a two-week notice, but, um, you know, stuff like that. I was I was younger and I was, you know... A lot less mature, I guess. Uh, that that's when I was like back back in my drinking and stuff like that. So, but oh, okay. You know, otherwise, it was always you know had something had a backup plan. You know something for the next step. Um, if you don't, yeah. if you don't feel appreciated. You just you got to move on. You know, you just got to know when to move on. You can't hold on to that shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, well, I'm proud of you, man. You you seem to be going to the right direction. You're freaking branching out. You're talking to your friend, you know, some meeting some great people. It sounds like, and you know, you've been talking about some pretty good issues on live. That you know, that's you're making you're starting to make a difference, and it's freaking. It sounds awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, the main thing is just like you know, let's it's gotta you have to you have to keep up with the little things, you know. That's what I do. Is just like if I can make it, if I can do a couple little things each day, it'll make a big difference later. You know, like that's what I'm learning. Like before, I tried to, I tried to take on so much all at once, and I'd get overwhelmed, and I would burn out. Like not, then I wouldn't accomplish what I was doing. You know. Right. I got you. Hell yeah. I mean. Yeah, I was on that kick too for a while there, you know, like doing like mixed martial arts and stuff and just my garage with nobody, right? And, uh, you know, practicing like yeah. weird head kicks and stuff like that and freaking hurt myself trying to stay up late playing video games and waking up early, training, you know, stuff like that. It catches yeah. up with you, especially if you don't get a lot of sleep. Yeah, sleep is the key thing, man. Like, I will tone to that. It's like sleep is everything. I was like, that's when the guy needs to sleep. Absolutely. Good meal and go to bed, man. You all right? Ooh. Yeah, I was just checking the timing. I'll check oh, I got I got a pimple right here, dude. It's bothering the crap out of me. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big shiner. Oh my <laughs> god. I know just like uh <laughs> all that shoveling stuff like that, and I was just like I'm like, ooh, that kind of hurts. I look, look in the mirror, I'm like, god damn it. And it's not even palpable yet, so it's like... So, so tomorrow night, when it's gonna be, I'm going to be like... Poof. Now I'm going to shoot like a volcano. Oh, man. Yeah. I should record it, though, and put it on uh, TikTok. Like, Oof. the epic pimple looks like... Some people are into that shit, dude. Like, the like guy I am. It's like... Shh. Yeah, I know they are. My mom's into that stuff, too. Like Dr. Uh, Pimple yeah. Popper or whatever. Yeah, I love that show. Yeah, hell yeah. You got to do it in slow motion, though. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Damn, so. What's up? Oh, have you done any more uh, haunting shows? Haunting shows? Not yet. We've been trying to plan it, but uh, we we haven't been able to get co- get into contact with anybody, but we are looking into doing a trail here before the springtime. And, you know, going out, yeah. you know, like, doing a Bigfoot hunt, you know. Um, we did get some some recordings, but it didn't come out too well. We didn't, we weren't as prepared as we thought we were. So um, we got the lighting and stuff like that now. So we're going to be progressing towards that, hopefully. Hopefully we could get some footage and stuff like that. I mean, if you go to, like, uh, like around Duluth or something like that, or, oh, dude. Because how far is Duluth from uh, Bemidji? Um, it'll be like maybe two hours, two and a half hours, maybe. We could do a uh, no filming sanatorium. Yeah, I heard that's pretty haunted, right? Yeah, 
will, will yeah. allow anybody to go. I, be, I, I can look it up online. Uh, see if you can get your crew together. Yeah, we could do a special. Like we could do our own episode of that. Oh yeah. And uh, I'll be down. I'll be down to help out. I'll be a. I'll be the scaredy cat that goes in there with like, all right, Dan. <laughs> since you're the one, the most scaredest, go in the room. I'm like, fuck, that's me, dude. I'm like, oh, uh, I got, I got my piece. You know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll be the scaredy cat, like Billy on uh, Ghost Adventures. Oh yeah, we'll have to try to get in contact with those guys and see if they'll allow us to go there and film and stuff like that. That'd be fucking sick, dude. Yeah, and that's a job boy too, right? Is that's that... a, that's an Ojibwe land. That's Fond du Lac. That's Fond du Lac. Oh shit! They might let us. Huh? We we probably have to get a hold of them though. Yeah. Fond du Lac. I'll have to look it up. Um, um, after this, would you be able to shoot me shoot me a link here? Sanitary. Yeah, I can do that. I don't have a pen or a pen, paper. Son of a gun. I'm gonna I'm gonna look I'm I'm gonna look it up on my uh, iPad real quick. While we're, while we're talking. I got you. So, yeah, dude. I'd be down to the episode with you guys. Like, uh, no plumbing sanitarium. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's open 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, um... How do I do this? The 40-acre no plumbing sanitarium canis. It's... Yeah, I think it's free to the public. Twenty six fifty No Plumbing Road, Duluth, Minnesota. And check the website. Filming. There we go. If if interested in filming opening, please send a request. Oh, okay, they have, they have an email you can you can send it to. And I'll I'll send you the link after this. All right, I appreciate it, brother man. That'd be fucking. It'd be epic. Oh yeah, you got dude. You could do some TikToks in the haunted house, dude. You know that'd be awesome. Yeah, I I got the Garth wig from uh, Wayne's World. Or Nolan Nolan does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had the cheap glasses. Just gotta dye your hair. Oh. <laughs> no, I deleted it, but uh, they had the haunted chip in Duluth. Mm -hmm. I, I put did. Mm -hmm. Native Garth goes to the haunted ship, but uh, I got got punked out because I was recording. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah, I was like, "Wow!" You know, all scared, like ah, I'm like <laughs> right. and stuff like that. And they're like, "Like you can't be recording." Picked it off. I was just like, "Oh, <laughs> hell yeah!" I mean, if I can, I'll I'll send you some of my content. Or uh, go to my TikTok page and look about October. Mm. Okay, you'll, you'll see it. So you can check my story stuff. It was so stupid. It's just like I'm like, wow, that's a ghost right there. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's stupid as hell. Yeah. And I have Nolan's wig. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shit. Oh, well, I think I'm gonna let you go though, brother man. Uh, I'm getting pretty late here. Um, I hope you have a great night. I hope you stay positive, and I hope everything goes well when you start your new job. Yeah. Thanks, man. And uh, I'll send you the link after this. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. All right. All right peace. All right, peace, brother, man.